Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. If you look right there, you can see that the lines are measured perfectly on each side. And that's just a guideline they're using to put the top on the car. Vermont's checking it out, making sure it's right. Because they're under the understanding that this guy is picky. Do you use an HVLP gun for glue? Yeah. Avia? Correct. Wow. Is that a throwaway gun or? No, actually, this will last me about a year. I've never seen anybody use an HVLP gun. They usually use a... The canister in the bottom. Yeah. They usually use a... a yeah, the old school gun. This is, this is actually actually better. And you don't clean that gun out, huh? Never. You just leave the glue in there? Once it... It'll never dry up. It's glue's in there. Once it starts messing up, I throw it away and buy me another. Well, where do you purchase a gun like that? Actually, I, for Got glue, it. you don't want to pay a whole lot, so I buy them at Harbor Freight. And they got a big, they get a, they got a big volume tip on it, right? Correct. Let's it out real thick. Correct. Okay. Okay, here we go. They're gonna. Do you do half at a time or? I do half. Yeah. Center first. Oh, you do the center? Yeah. Wow. So he's going in a circular motion and covering every spot that he can get on it. If you look close, you can see glue on the car. It's important to make sure that every partial part of the surface is covered with glue. Now when you uh, put the top on, you're going to take that tape off. I take the tape off after I put the top. Put the center on. You still got to steam this and put glue on the back side of that, right, Ramon? Right. Okay. And you've done this too, right, Ramon? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to get the center on first, and then you'll come back and flip it over and do the sides. Okay. Oh, okay. And that's why you're putting the tape down to line up the seams. Are you going to put glue on the whole top of this, or are you just going to do it? And then on the, just the center on the top, I mean the vinyl top. Yeah. We'll just, and then once you get the centered in, then you'll flip it all in. Take it out and put, put both sides on. Okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, if you look at the surface of the roof, you'll see it's rough. That's because there's glue on it. Now you got to let that glue set for approximately 10 to 20 minutes, depending on the weather. And if I look over there, I see our steamers in action, ready to go too. Wow. So what Javier is doing now, he's going to go ahead and put glue on the top, just right in the center, if you notice. And then he'll let that sit for 10 or 15 minutes. And then it's ready for him and his brother, Ramon, to put the top on. You like doing bottom tops, Ramon? Oh, yeah. You do? Yeah, they're, okay. they're kind of scary to me, bud. Oh, yeah, you gotta be real careful. Because if you fuck it up, you're screwed, man. I had a guy put a vinyl top on my Galaxy. I had a 62 Galaxy black vinyl top. And he fucked that thing up. He put it on there, and it wasn't centered, so he pulled up on it real quick and pulled all the glue off the top, bud. So it had a big patch of glue missing, you know what I'm saying? So then I had to get, uh, I had to get that vinyl sticker uh, remover shit that you spray on. Have you ever seen it? Yeah. And I had to take all that glue off, dude. I, and then that didn't work. That double work. No, that didn't work. Uh, I ended up work. stripping it down with the airplane stripper, dude, to get all the glue off that he put on there. And then I had to repaint the top of the car. And then who the fuck do you think put the final top on in the end? You did. You're damn right. <laughs> I couldn't fucking believe it, bud. Were you pissed? What do you think? <laughs> A little bit. I was fucking hot, dude. <laughs> Wouldn't you be pissed? 
Wouldn't you be pissed about that? Oh, yeah. You pay a guy to do a job and then you end up doing it? Yeah. All right, what are you going to do, Javier? What's up? We're going to start gluing this together. Okay, you were just saying you were going to start in the back and work forward? Yes. we got to roll it up. You're going to roll it up with the glue out on the outside? Yeah. All right, the best lesson on this is just watch and learn. That's what it's all about with my videos, watch and learn. If you notice, the contact cement is dry to the touch, so they'll be all right. And if you attempt to do this at home, make sure you have a friend with you to help you, because this is a big job. All right, here we go. You need some help, Alviar? That's a good answer, bud. Too many hands on one project fucks it up. You need. Okay, uh, what they're doing, they're taking a piece of paper, putting it in between so it doesn't stick. They're putting it in between the contact cement so they can move the top around. Get over here on this side. So that's a very good trick. If you're going to want to do this at home. Do this, do you gotta be real quick or you just take your time, Javier? We'll take our time. Okay. And as long as you don't have the contact cement touching each other, you're fine, right? Actually, you can touch a little bit, that's why I let it dry. Yeah. But once the two contacts touch each other, it's over. Yeah, we got finger right there. section done. It's pretty much all done. I don't want to ask him any questions or bother him right now. He's stretching the top and lining up, lining up the seam with the tape line as he's stretching it. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School.
Classes don't stop till you know everything. <laughs>